they stripped my bed, leaving me with fucking horrible to touch duvets and a pillow. So I ripped a curtain off this off the wall and I'm using it as a blanket. Because it's winter and it's fucking cold. Not only that, they've also bruised my neck and are refusing me the right to see a doctor. I got a complaint from dear, but I have no pen. That's fun. I can't regret leaving you alone Until you find your way back home duvets and a pillow so I ripped a curtain off this off the wall and I'm using it as a blanket because it's winter and it's fucking cold not only that they've also bruised my neck and are refusing me the right to see a doctor I got a complaint from dear but I have no pen so I just had an even smarter idea I can't touch the duvet because of the texture. Hence why I took a curtain off the wall and I'll happily pay for it to be repaired. You know what? I had literally no footage for this. Or plan for this. I didn't really want to make a video. I'm not in the mood. Actually, really depressed at the moment. I tried to kill myself tonight. Fun fact. Um, hence my neck's in pain. But you know, paracetamol. Even though I can't take it. <laughs> because I react horribly to it. But we'll see. We'll see. Apparently, lorazepam and paracetamol will cure my issues. Also, NHS. You need a new curtain. Thought I'd point that out, yeah. I hate automatic lights. I need to change my socks. But seriously, who has to take curtains off the fucking window just to sleep? I'm literally gonna get past my thumbnail. this before just to sleep but hey days bring challenges and sometimes those challenges are ripping curtains off the fucking ceiling to sleep live and learn that's my advice So you 
find your way 